Hey friends! So finally I get a chance to film a video and I go to film and my battery's dead which makes no sense because I just charged my battery like before I filmed last time. So there must be something wrong with my charger. Luckily I have a backup. Anyways none of you care about this information. <laughs> um, so this month has been kind of a whirlwind because um, well September is my birthday month. This is a favorites video but it's really late so it's kind of into September too but um, it's my birthday month I love fall I love everything fall related but it's also been just I've just been kind of more emotional than usual lately I'm really not a very emotional person but I even like cried um, like a week ago out of nowhere and like I couldn't sleep I was just like crying so hard and it was one of those things where I was just like what is going on in my life like I just felt like a mess so that was fun but generally <laughs> things are good um, and this has been an awesome month for things so even if my personal life has been kind of up and down um, there's been a lot of like awesome stuff to talk about that is not related to my personal life so I'm just gonna jump right in and um, let's do my food stuff first because why not um, I'm obsessed with David's Tea, as you know. I was really excited because I found out that they're opening a new David's Tea in Water Tower Place. It's going to be on the seventh floor right next to the Bath and Body Works, if you're familiar with that area on Michigan Avenue in Chicago. Um, so they already have one on Michigan and Randolph, and now they're going to have another one, and they have one in Armitage, too. So I'm just really excited because it means that they're growing in popularity which they should be because they're awesome and I love them and I just want more people to have access to them so um they came out with their fall collection and pumpkin chai is as amazing as you would think and um oh so good oh my god <laughs> I just spilled tea all over the floor Okay, that was fun. That's gonna be fun to clean up later. I just want to show you what it looks like. Oh my god. Ah. God, I just kill myself. Um, I just put a little bit of almond milk in it. It doesn't even need any sugar and it's delicious. I, it's like so good. Um, I didn't bring it out. I meant to, but I also really like spiced apple and I'm gonna make that as an iced tea. Um, I think in a big pitcher because I got myself an iced tea pitcher finally. So I can make iced tea with any kind of tea, which is awesome. Um, that was from David's Tea also. Um, also, this is not food related, but it is David's Tea related. They came out with more body care type products and candles um, in different scents based on teas that they have. And I got the hand cream and pumpkin chai. I also got the um, lip balm, but I haven't been using the lip balm as much, so I can't really put that in as a favorite. But oh my god it smells so good and um the other one is pure vanilla which usually i'm not that excited about vanilla scents but this one is a really really good like foody vanilla it is i can't even describe it if you have access to david's tea check those out because they're awesome um next i don't have the cotton candy ones to show you because they went bad which was so depressing um but these grapes as well, Moondrops. Um, can I just show you? They look like little eggplant jelly beans and they're freaking delicious. So, oh my God. I think I actually like these better than the cotton candy grapes to be honest. I don't know. They are so, so good. I, They're not genetically modified in any way. They're just like new types of grapes so that is really exciting and if you see these get them everyone talks about the cotton candy ones but the moon drops ones so good so I have been trying to eat healthy still not always being successful which is why I have not done a health getting healthy video yet because I feel like a hypocrite right now <laughs> but um sometimes I do have weak moments and this was a weak moment ice cream fruity pebbles that are rainbow sherbet flavored um they really do taste like rainbow sherbet too so 
these have just been like a real treat for myself and um I just really it was like one of those things where I just had to try them but they're so good if you see them definitely and you like you know ice cream flavored things definitely <laughs> try those I don't know how what else to say about that I feel like I'm gonna keep eating grapes during this video um next this mug which I have not even had the heart to use yet is from Starbucks it's from their anniversary collection from this year and it is the most beautiful creature ever. Basically, it's supposed to be like the mermaid fin. The Starbucks mermaid. And I just think it's so beautiful. I love mermaids anyways, and anything whimsical. But I just love the shape of it, the... Ugh, it's just the most beautiful design. It's simple and intricate at the same time. Um, then, what's next? Oh fragrance this month. I do have a fragrance favorite. This is a really old favorite. I've had this perfume for a very, very long time and I go through phases with it where I hate it and then I love it. Right now I love it. I feel like it's definitely more fall and autumn -ish -ish is ish. Um, it's, uh, no, I'm gonna butcher her name. Um, Hannah Mori. I'll put it in the info box. It's butterfly and it's the pink version because I know there are different versions of butterfly. It's the most popular one. But basically this smells like vanilla and sandalwood and amber. Mm, right now I just cannot get enough of this. I've been wearing it every single day and it really suits this kind of um, not cold weather but not in the 90s weather. It suits the change of seasons basically give that a sniff if you are interested in that and it's been around for a long time so you could probably get it for cheap too um next i have finally gotten around to trying the chlorine Cl why don't i ever look up how to pronounce things before i film their dry shampoo which is always really highly regarded and i would never tried it um it's made with oat milk and what i love about this is that it smells really nice just like clean skin basically which that's the only thing I dislike about Batiste is that they're very strong scents that aren't super natural smelling. <laughs> um, but this one does smell really natural. It works really well. Also, it does spray out like a powder. It's pretty white, but um, it does brush out. And I feel like when they don't brush, don't spray like a powder, they don't work as well. So you got to pick your battles. Um, I finally got to, ch to test out the Bath and Body Works fall signature collection stuff in store and um, I really like the Sun Crisp Apple which I there's no surprise I love anything Apple I also love um, the plum cider warmth which smells exactly like the plum Moscato one from last year but um, perfect autumn day I was actually really disappointed in when I smelled it in store because I thought it smelled just like marshmallow pumpkin latte but for some reason, the body lotion, like I just grabbed this by the register because I realized I had a coupon for a free travel size body care thing. And that's basically just the lotion or the shower gel. I usually don't even like the lotions, but I just grabbed this thinking, oh, you know, I could just give it as a gift to someone, whatever. But then I smelled it and I'm like, good Lord, this smells amazing. It smells like marshmallow pumpkin latte with like apple cider mixed in. <laughs> it's so good and I've actually been using this to moisturize which I never they and they are better like the consistency of these is much better than they used to be so I will say that but test out the scents in different in all the product line like smell the shower gel smell the body lotion smell the the fragrance mist because they don't smell the same so I always say that but definitely do that um um, I've got something very exciting to tell you about, but I will do that momentarily. Um, oh, I did, just to follow up, I did find a Yankee candle finally, and I did get my beloved autumn leaves and spiced pumpkin candles. So yay to that. Um, I didn't bring them to show you over here, but um, I'm still obsessed with the Chanel Ardent liner from their fall collection. I've pretty much worn this every single day in my waterline. Um, it's really good. It doesn't irritate my eyes at all. It's awesome. And I've also pretty much been wearing this eye combo all month long, which is Anastasia Cream Color and Honey, which I always talk about. Um, Urban Decay Riff eyeshadow on the lid and on the lower lash line. 
and Makeup Forever um, Artist Shadow in I think it's 600M in the crease. Just blend it out and we are good to go. I love that combination and it complements the kind of darker nudes that I've been really into lately. Um, next, I got this as like um, as like a deluxe sample from Sephora um, as part of like a bag of things. It was the Kat Von D tattoo liner and I've tried this before and I thought it was just okay. I don't know. Trying this again, I am blown away by it and I've been wearing it every day since I got it and um, I'm definitely going to have to purchase the full size because it is so black and it does not budge. Like the end of the day after a really long day it will still be there and perfect so that is not something to dismiss lightly uh also i finally bought into the hype and purchased the milani runway lashes mascara and this stuff is freaking awesome it just has this really like simple wand doesn't look like anything special but let me get it awkwardly close that is the effect that I get with my non-existent eyelashes. So I curl my eyelashes first with the Sonia Kashuk eyelash curler, but um, that mascara is so good. Blown away. So you guys, I have some lip things to tell you about. The first one is super exciting. Um, oh, I hope I didn't just show you my business. This looks like it's just a plain old hoodie, which looks very much like out of my usual girly girl style, but it's actually a dress. It was from Forever 21 and I'm wearing it with my Nike blazers. Um, so I feel very sporty today, but uh, yeah, don't be fooled. It's not totally uh, bumming. It's still a dress. So, okay, first thing. I can't, I can't hold off any longer. I'm too excited to talk about this. So. Dun, dun, dun. Christian Louboutin came out with lipsticks. And before you go, oh, you spent $90 on a lipstick. No, no, my friends, I spent $40 on a lipstick, which is still a lot. But um, Sephora, my beloved Sephora, you guys, a lot of people had their doubts with, with the Epic Rewards fail. Um, Basically, so they had this promotion where they had all these giant, like, awesome rewards that you could redeem with your points. They were all for, like, a thousand points or more. And I do tend to hoard my points because they barely ever have anything worth spending them on. Um, and a lot of people missed out. They sold out of them in, like, three minutes. And um, they had this... They put out this thing on Twitter, you know, send them an email if you, to this specific address, if you had any issues with it. And I did place an order that day and I wasn't even, you know, super like, oh, I gotta get the Epic Rewards, but I did check and they were already gone. So I was like, oh, you know, I'll email them because I did want to take part in that. Well, um, like a week or so later, they sent a $50 gift card promotion code to myself and to my other friends who also had issues and emailed them. So that was amazing, Sephora. You, that just blew me away. A $50 gift card to spend on anything you want. Yeah, that was uh, super awesome. Sorry, I'm like, the sun is at like full blast outside and I'm feeling super hot right now. But anyways, let's get to the point here. So it says the name on the bottom of the case. The case is really important because it does not say anywhere on the lipstick what shade it is. I don't think you'd want it to because look at how freaking awesome this is. It's like a weapon. <laughs> um, it did come with a ribbon, which I don't know where I put the ribbon because I'm not going to wear it as a necklace with that flimsy ribbon. But um, this is the shade Just Nothing, which is one of the matte lipsticks. I'm showing you the full extent of it. It's not, you know, huge or anything. You're not getting like more bang for your buck aside from the packaging. But the formula, I'm wearing it right now. The formula of this lipstick is so good, so good. Like I may have gotten a gift card for my birthday and used it towards a second shade. <laughs> um, but I am really in love with this. It really doesn't even need a liner. I did use a little Urban Decay 1993 just because I feel like I have an emotional attachment to lip liner right now <laughs> um, and I feel weird without wearing it, but you really don't need it. It does have a slight scent. It's not a great scent. It's kind of baby, fla baby flower, baby, <laughs> baby powder. 
and floral perfumey. I don't hate it, but the thing is with the scent is it dissipates really quickly, at least to me. I haven't tried any of the other formulas, so I can't really compare there. I did also, since this, I knew this was going to be like a big focus of my favorites because I'm so obsessed with this, um, I know there's a little like... Yeah, there's a little pouch here too, which looks like a little doll sock. <laughs> um, so you can carry it in your purse, because that's one of the only things I, I haven't carried it with me. I've always carried a similar shade if I want to touch it up. Um, but I did want to do a comparison. I have two shades that I think are somewhat similar um, to it if you like the shade but don't really want to splurge. So this one, um, I mean, these are not cheap lipsticks either. I feel like there are no really drugstore lipsticks that are similar. This is Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria. I think this one, it's definitely sheerer. I'm definitely building this up a lot. Um, but it's kind of similar in formula and in shade. It's a little bit more of a mauve than just nothing. But, um, and it's not as, it's not as matte. It's more, um, it has a little bit more iridescence to it I guess and then this one is new from Lancome it's a color design lipstick I just got this last week so I haven't even really given it a fair shot because I have been so obsessed with the lipsticks that I've been wearing this is the shade inconspicuous and it's also matte I would say this is actually the closest that I have to it in shade so now I'm confused okay <laughs> this was just nothing. This is very Victoria and this is inconspicuous. Inconspicuous is a little bit more opaque. It's almost um, a little bit more similar to the Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipsticks, but um, they are somewhat similar if you just want that type of neutral nude. It's, it's almost a little bit on the warm side. Oh, I wonder how long I've had that piece of fuzz on my face. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch my videos back and like you can see sometimes I look in the viewfinder but I'm not really looking closely at my face sometimes I'll be like oh great I had a hair that was like knotted the whole time I was filming that's cool so anyways I'm getting delirious from the heat I need to keep talking um, the other lipsticks that I want to show you this one oh my gosh you guys this is Sonia Kashuk's new from the fall grand bazaar collection and it is a matte lipstick in the shade crushed petal okay i'm going to tell you one thing about this it's a weird shape for a matte lipstick and i feel like it, it's very similar in formula to the urban decay matte revolution lipsticks but it's hard to get um and like an even Mm, what's the word I'm thinking of? Pre uh, precision. It's hard to get precision with this in terms of the line. So I think a lip liner is good. I don't like wearing a lip liner underneath it because look at how opaque it is. You do not need one. But I do like outlining. And this liner from MAC, it's from the Vamplify collection. It's a pro longwear liner in the shade In Control. It pairs really nicely. I actually really like In Control on its own too like I mean these shades are so similar it's like they were born to be used together um, I also got another shade from Vamplify that I'm obsessed with and it is Oh Honey this one is great under nude lips oh it is so good I've been wanting a shade just like this for so long a nude that's not too pink and not too pale so love it I've still been wearing my Urban Decay Stark Naked to Death. I feel like this shade just works on me. Um, I know a lot of people don't like this one, but I, it's probably still my favorite. And then I also picked up this new one called Carnal, which is a web exclusive. There's another one, Back Talk To, which is kind of similar to Nars Anna. That one's also really nice. I just haven't worn it as much. This is Carnal. You can see that I'm very much liking the same kind of shades right now everything looks the same um and then also this one from buxom this packaging is just so chubby and cute it's their um new uh, big and sexy bold lip gel what a stupid name <laughs> um this is the shade sinful cinnamon 
Once again, the shape of the bullet makes it a little tricky to apply because um, it's just, this one is just so large. The other one is too small and this one is too large. So that Sinful Cinnamon. I feel like Sinful Cinnamon and Carnal are kind of similar, but Carnal is more, um, is more pigmented. It's more opaque. And then last but not least, the shade is a little different for me. It is from Charlotte Tilbury and it is the shade Walk of Shame. Finally, the full range of shades are available to purchase from Nordstrom and I love me some Nordstrom. So I saw this one and was like, you know what? I like this. I will give it a try. And it's kind of a berryish red color, but I just, I find it so flattering and just so effortless for a red. And I find I have a lot of red lipsticks and I'm always, I'm drawn to them a lot, but I never reach for them. I don't know, they're so intimidating to me. And I feel like because I have big lips and I like to wear eye makeup, I just feel like it's too much look for me. I, I don't know. I just can't, I feel like I can't pull it off. So I like a red that's, you know, that's more wearable. And I also really like this kind of paired with, um, what did I pair it with last time? I think I had um, Stark Naked on and I kind of dabbed Walk of Shame on over it and it kind of warms it up a little, like the nude kind of lip colors. So anyways, um, I did have one other thing that I wanted to talk about in this favorites video that is a little different for me. I want to make sure that I talked about everything because yep, 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 yep. Oh. Also, get excited you guys, I actually took some pictures inside my house. I know you guys want me to do a house tour, but um, I was killing time waiting for my battery to charge and I was like, you know what, my house looks pretty nice right now, I'm going to take some pictures of it. So I'll post those, so at least you'll get somewhat of a semblance of a house tour. <laughs> um, because I decorated for Halloween and stuff. Anyways, okay. So first of all. I really like this little app called the Amazon Music Player. And you can like download music and it uploads instantly. But I'm obsessed with two albums right now. First of all, uh, Troy Sivan, I don't wanna actually play it, Wild, it's an EP. And I love every single song. I didn't even know who he was. I just listened to samples on iTunes and then I went to Amazon to download it. <laughs> but um, I'm obsessed and also, Jojo. Um, I have actually liked Jojo for a really long time. Um, I was really looking forward to her coming out with new music and her EP, it's, it's an EP but they, they're calling it a Tringle which is a really stupid name. It sounds like someone who has to pee. Um, but it's three songs basically that are all intended to be singles. They're all awesome. My favorite is Save My Soul but um they're really good. Also, if you need another music recommendation, Imogen Heap is one of my all-time favorites, and I've been listening to her song Entanglement a ton lately. It's just the most beautiful song. I like kind of catchy music that also is kind of intricate and has like, that's interesting, you know, that's not just cookie cutter. So that's me. Um, that's all I have to say. This is a long video, but not as long as I thought for all the things I had to talk about in depth. Um, but yeah, for, as for the Christian Louboutin lipstick, I didn't really summarize my thoughts. I feel like for me as kind of a maven of lipsticks, I felt like it was necessary <laughs> that I at least try this and not paying full price as well was a, a big help. Um, but I do think, you know, it's kind of a work of art. I feel like. I don't know if you've always wanted something Christian Louboutin and you can't afford the shoes like me. Um, it's nice for that too. I don't know. It, it just depends on what's worth it to you. I don't buy designer handbags. I buy designer lipsticks. There's something weird going on with my memory card and my battery. So I'm just going to end this here. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.